everyone this is Rachelle thanks for clicking on my video and I came in today with a little bit of celebrity tea first ones up are Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes now I heard a rumor a few years back that these two were dating now we don't see them out and about in a lot of pictures but I guess the rumors are true um, reports are that these two spent New Year's Eve together and that they have been an item since 2013. Now, I find this relationship kind of weird, y'all. And the reason why is because Jamie Foxx was friends with Tom Cruise when Katie Holmes was married to um, to Tom Cruise. Uh, Jamie Foxx also did a movie uh, called Collateral with uh, Tom Cruise and I think Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes and all of them kind of hung out together so this is kind of weird. Now I guess this is a good thing for both of them I don't know y'all remember when this girl had to escape from Tom Cruise because he had her all mixed up in that Scientology mess and you know she had to do a great escape basically what I heard is that she got everything together with her parents to you know make a break from Tom Cruise she did it all secretly I guess she got some money to them she got it all set up and then one day she just grabbed her daughter and did her great escape and ran home to her parents now because I've heard a lot of rumors about how bad it is to be in that Scientology stuff I guess I'm happy for Katie Holmes that she's with someone that you know seems to care about her one thing I notice about Jamie Foxx is when he is in a relationship he's very private he seems like he's a very very loving man when he finds someone that he cares about so I think um, she found someone that is in her corner you know someone that's not controlling and um, I think maybe this is a good fit for them I don't know now one thing that I'm a little um, confused about is why are they so private with it um, the stories that I read is that Tom Cruise is very much aware of um, this relationship and y'all in this picture didn't it look like uh, Jamie was standing there like you know man in a few years I'm gonna be with your woman it just looked like he was sitting there thinking you know what this is gonna be mine in a few years I don't know y'all what is the story behind all of this um, is it just that they're a very private couple and you know what y'all it might be this after she was with Tom Cruise and he was so controlling you know had her hooked up all in that Scientology and then you know he was very public uh, Tom Cruise seems like the type to me that he likes to kind of show off and kind of show off with his women so he had her all on these shows you know doing things that maybe she didn't like and finally she's met someone that she can be herself you know he's not demanding he's not controlling and I guess I'm I'm happy for them but again y'all this relationship seems a little odd to me you know and um, it's kind of odd that again they were all friends in a group and now Jamie Foxx is dating her y'all how does that work I, I don't know I, I just don't get that but I guess it works for them because they seem happy and again they said that these two have actually been dating since uh, 2013 so I guess uh, Jamie Foxx is in love and I guess she is too and I guess Tom Cruise is out the picture and Jamie scooped up his ex-wife and now he's a planned stepdad to Tom Cruise's daughter Siri remember the little girl Siri uh, I think that little girl's about 10 years old now doesn't seem like it's been that long but 
yeah, she made her great escape and she found her a man and I guess I'm happy for him. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think about this story and do you think they're a good fit? Did you hear about them dating? Because like I said, I heard a rumor years ago, but I didn't think anything more of it. Um, Jamie Foxx has never really been really out there with his relationships. So I guess I didn't even think about who he was dating, but it seems to be Katie Holmes, y'all. Tell me what you think. Y'all, the next ones up are Amber Rose and Val Chimanotsky. Chiblutsky. Chiblatsky. Y'all, I really don't know how to pronounce this name. I was just making up some shit right there. But it's Val from Dancing with the Stars. Y'all, here's another couple that I had no idea that they were dating. I guess I'm missing all this stuff. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars. I tune in every once in a while. I think I watch it probably, you know, the first show of the season to see who's going to be on there. And then if someone is like having problems, I might turn in every now and again, tune in every now and again. So when Amber Rose was on there, I tuned in for a couple shows because I wanted to see how she danced and, you know, everybody has heard about Amber Rose, so I wanted to see if she could shake it up. Now, her partner on the show was Val, and I guess, you know, some type of connection was made because they are actually dating. Actually, she posted a picture on, um, I believe, Twitter, and a lot of people were offended. They don't think that he should be dating her. Um, he came on and posted some stuff and went off on the people that were posting negative comments he eventually you know deleted his comments but he seemed to be a little pissed now on the show that um amber rose was on there was this blonde girl she's one of the dancers and now she's a judge she kind of fat shamed amber rose now i'm going to tell you something I really don't like Amber Rose one way or the other. I never really paid attention to her, but when that occurred on the show, I did watch clips from it. And I watched um, you know, the a video of that blonde girl, you know, saying certain things to Amber Rose. And now I think Amber took it a little bit too far with her response to it, but y'all that blonde girl did fat shame her. Um, basically, she said something like, with Amber's body, she's a little too curvy for some of the dance routines, blah, blah, blah. And um, you could tell that when she was saying it, Amber felt some kind of way. You know, um, a lot of times those dancers believe that you have to be, you know, really small so the guy can pick you up and sling you all over the goddamn floor. But, y'all... Val, he didn't have no problem throwing Amber all over everywhere. And it seemed like Val liked all that, that jelly that Amber had because after the show, looks like Val wanted some of that jelly and he got him some of that jelly. Now on the show, I thought Amber looked cute. Um, there were a couple outfits that if I was her, I would not have let them put me in. But some of the outfits, because of her curvy body, she did look cute in it. And um, I guess this is a, a final uh-huh to the blonde hair girl that was fat shaming um, Amber. Because again, y'all, I'm not an Amber fan, but that blonde hair girl, I can't think of her name on the show. She did say a couple things that, you know how you're, you're watching and you're like, damn, you know, and then Amber has to stand there and not say anything back to her. You know, everybody is not built the same every, you know, even though some of these dancers are, you know, supposed to be at the, you know, their ideal weight because their dancing is like, um, a sport so their bodies are trim now there is one Cheryl Burke is was a little curvier I think she's lost a little weight too but hell 
I guess, Val, he wanted some of that jelly, like I said, and he got him some. So it seems like to me, Amber got the last laugh. Now, again, y'all, I'm not a big Amber Rose fan, but on this story, I guess I'm happy for her because um, after, you know, being kind of publicly humiliated like that not that she hasn't been humiliated before you know with some of the things that she's done but I just didn't like that fat shaming I mean that was something that even as a curvy girl myself I was like wait a minute is this girl trying to you know like talk shit about her on national television and yes that blonde haired girl was she did fat shame her so Amber, you know, good luck with your relationship with Val. Um, I don't think it's going to last, but have fun while you can, because I think he has a volatile personality and I just don't see them lasting a long time. I think they're probably just enjoying each other's company and, you know, for what it's worth. So uh, that's it with them. Amber Rose and Val Chimilotsky Chimilu Chup Chup y'all his name is off the chain it got so many letters in it I was looking at it I said you know what I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this right I'm gonna deliberately pronounce it wrong child it got half the goddamn alphabet in it I was looking at it I was like oh lord how old was he when he finally learned how to pronounce his name? Y'all, I'm just kidding. But did y'all hear that these two were dating? And what do you think about it? Do you think it was a step down for him? Or do you think, you know what, with his personality, he probably can hope, handle Amber? I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think. And the last one up, y'all, is Bobby Brown. Now, there is a story circulating on the internet that's kind of disturbing and is very scary. The story is saying that Bobby Brown um, was hospitalized due to his intestines in exploding. Now, what the story says is that Bobby was home alone. He collapsed and he um no one was around so um once he was able to he drove himself to the nearest hospital now they said that when he got there that he had lost almost 80 percent of his blood and he had to have a blood transfusion and he was very near death now they said that he was in the hospital for a few days you know with them trying to get him back you know, I guess, you know, to where he could go home. Now, they said that the reason why this happened, that it came from decades of drinking and drugging. Now, this story also says that, you know, not only did Bobby Brown drink, but he was a heroin addict. Now, y'all, I never heard that Bobby was on heroin. I thought that, you know, he was a drinker and that they, you know, they did coke, cocaine, him and Whitney. Never heard anything about him being a heroin addict. Ooh, that, that one is a hard drug to kick. And, um, you know, I do know that Bobby Brown was successful in, you know, getting that monkey off his back. Now, I know that they said that he still has problems with drinking but y'all did y'all hear all of this now this one when I read this story I had to read it a couple times because you know I just didn't believe it I you know I never really was a big new edition or Bobby Brown fan I love some of their music but not all of it um, when they came out, I was a little bit older, so I, I got into it a little bit, but not deep like some of my younger friends. But y'all, it just seems like um, his life is troubled. Him and Whitney Houston will be forever linked. No matter what, you know, those two loved each other. Um, they had Bobby Christina and it seems like they're, they all just have problems with drugs. You know, Whitney died from it. Then their baby, Bobby Christina died, 
you know, mysteriously. And they said that she had drugs in her system. And now this with Bobby. I don't know if you guys heard this. And if you did, do you believe it? And also, did I miss something? Was Bobby a heroin addict? I, I seriously just thought that he drank. And, you know, he did that coke with Whitney. <sighs> Y'all, this is a, you know, sad. Because think about it. The New Edition movie is coming out on January 24th. Um, they asked Bobby to comment on it. And, you know, what his comment was, one of them, he said that he was glad that he was alive to see this. You know, that he made it through. He also said that he thought the actors that portrayed all of them did a good job. So I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. But I'm also a little worried about Bobby. They said that, um, you know, he never fully recovered from the death of Bobby Christina. And that caused him a lot of stress as well. And they're just saying that. He's not doing well emotionally. Nothing, you know, like with drugs or anything. I just think the the totality of everything. You know, Whitney dying, then probably Christina dying. I think that it, it's just too much for him. Now, like I said, I never was a big, huge Bobby Brown fan. But what, what I can say is he's a singer from when I was younger. And um, you hate to to watch their lives unravel, and especially with all that him, Whitney, and Bobby Christina have gone through together. So I wish Bobby Brown, if this is true, you know, I hope that he's doing okay. I hope that he's taking care of himself, and you know, he just makes it through because. This one, um, intestines exploding, I know that had to be painful, y'all. And then how do they, you know, what do they do when your intestines rupture? You know, how do they take care of that? I don't know, y'all. I'm going to get on out of here. That story kind of, that one kind of bothered me. Tell me what you think, um, you know, about, you know, this Bobby Brown story. Had you heard anything about it? Um, do you know anything about when a person's uh, intestines rupture? You know, what kind of treatment do they give them? And this thing where they're saying that he lost 80% of his blood. Now, that's the part that I'm like, wow. That, he was very near death. You know, very, very near death. So again, Bobby Brown, I hope you're taking care of yourself. And with that, everyone... Thank you for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.